but like in general the hottest female bodies on earth lift heavy weights the worst female bodies on earth go for jogging less low intensity steady state cardio elliptical flabby disgusting just weak no you know they got no quads they don't have hamstrings i mean when girls lift heavy i'm not saying heavy like on roids bro i'm saying heavy as in like they're actually pushing weight they have shape to their body right like the glutes the ass pushes out when there's muscle right i'm not saying like rock hard i'm just saying when you see a flabby or when you see a girl who like if a girl's legs are just like this it's not attractive they have to be like warped like this they have to have shape like like a bubble that bubble is from muscle if it's just straight down like this it's not hot and that thickness comes from muscle underneath fat because if it's just muscle it looks weird but uh well, some guys like athletic but i think the best look is a muscular athletic girl with a coating of fat you know like just enough where you can make fun of her you go hey you're fat that's the best look in my opinion that's the most feminine look it's also the most rare like very few girls look like that general training i mean people just have this i don't know maybe it's just like i said everything's always from the viewpoint of looking out someone that has it and then they just go well they just do these things and that's it so if i do these things that for some reason people think i'm gonna do it for fucking five weeks it's just gonna be my reality yeah for my female clients squats i'd avoid deadlifts because they'd always fuck it up it would be squats and pull-ups to make them look really good and a lot of girls believe it or not need to go on bulks you'd be surprised how many girls need to go on like a lean mass phase uh like they, they need shape to them. They, they like, I hate muscular women, but the average woman is not even 1% muscular. That's the problem. I like fat. Yeah. I've never dated or hooked up a girl who I've never done hooked up with someone who wasn't like nice bod. Advice on how to find a good personal trainer? Mm, it's usually the more expensive dudes, but usually it's the guy who spends time with you, who doesn't ignore you. Uh, yeah. In my gym, the more expensive dudes, they couldn't be seen around with two unfit clients, so they would bust their ass getting everyone fit. Depends where you're at. In life, boxing, fitness, whatever you're doing, always just go for a more expensive coach. I, we, we do this penny pinching thing with every part of our lives, and then we end up spending even more money with shit coaches. It's like, do it right the first time. Don't do it wrong eight times where you spend 8,000 fucking dollars. Do it right the first time. Do it... Kind of like YouTube. Get the editor, the expensive editor, the first time. Don't go through 10 mediocre editors. You know, do everything that... it's. It really always comes down to... Just do the expensive shit. And don't worry about money. It's just not even close to the case. Yeah. Um, not at all. There's I mean, plenty of dudes that look like shit that do steroids. They're just not eating right. They're not working out. They don't know how to work out. It's not going to happen to you. Don't worry. You know what's an interesting thing I think about? But if she's bulky, she's going to eat all the oranges. Well, I'm talking about for women I date. So women I date are usually on the slimmer side. So they need some bulk. I don't, I've never dated a bulky person. Kumail and Johnny should come out though. The fuck is that? Who? who? Kumail and Johnny? Who the fuck's that? The, the fucking dude from... Kumail and Johnny. He's the, he's the Pakistani dude. So Zirka, would you hire Wake Wilder as your coach? Yeah, Wake knows a lot. I like him. I love him. For fitness? Yeah. As soon as he starts talking politics is when I put the barrel to my fucking <laughs> <laughs> you like became like a Marvel guy, right? In a video game. Bill actually seems like no, she couldn't even do one push up. <laughs> the guy with Giga, Ch yeah, muscular chicks ain't it? Yeah, I hate muscular. Muscular is weird. Uh, my mom used to say something really evil. She'd say, "Always marry a skinny girl." And I'd be like, ew, no, what the fuck? And she'd be like, you'll thank me when she's pregnant. <laughs> and I'm like, mom, how can you say that?
<laughs> and she'd be like, oops. But he was on like, what is it, Eternals or something? Oh, I didn't see this. I, I didn't I, watch the movie either, but like, he's like, Jack, now how do you not know Kumail and Johnny? He I, went from like the fucking, like, so your, uh, your, her end game will be medium. Uh, <laughs> I think you know, the, the nerdy, the nerdy brown dude, the nerdy Pakistani dude, pull that to, up, like, Sophie, pull that up, insanely svelte. And he says it's because he like worked out a lot or whatever. You know what I find funny about that concept is like just like success in general, like people look at stuff and they go, oh, this is all you did to get there. And then they try to put in the work to get there and they realize it's so much harder, but then they don't, they can't apply that same concept to. This is what he looks like now. Okay. But he oh, used, 100%. But okay. have you seen what he used to look like? No, nah, but I could already look at his bicep veins. Just, yeah, his vascular is out of you control. Don't, your veins don't get thick like that. It's just not normal for most people. Yeah. For most people. I mean, here, this is an older photo of him. That's actually kind of like makes it look like it would be more of a natural transition, but like it's. Nah. He used to look so different, dude. He was like. And it happened over the course of like half of a year. Yeah, I mean, it's just not. It's Hollywood. Hollywood yeah. does this shit all the time. I've been doing this forever. Yeah. He looks great. Fuck it. But. I mean, also, like, I feel like that definitely shaves. That definitely shaves like five to five years from the top of your life. Nah, I don't think that many. No, I don't know. But I mean, I was going to say, I, I would take it. Look. <laughs> yeah, I would take it. No, yeah. I mean, he's definitely. <laughs> like, nothing. No definition. I just, think, too, I think, too, that the bigger thing, like, especially for these kids, that they're listening to this and they're like actually thinking about or, or considering or doing any of this shit, it's just like blood work. People don't realize how important that stuff is because people don't realize actually what's happening in their body. I know we talked a little bit on H3 Spot, but I think any, any conversation I tend to talk about, if I ever talk about steroids, I always try to talk about actually looking at yourself, whether before you're going to get on or if you're on or while you're on, like, you need to be aware of what's happening, how your body's like adapting to it to know whether it's safe or not for you. Otherwise, you're just like shooting in the dark. And I, th yeah. I think I think not enough people hear that kind of stuff when it comes to this stuff because I think they just think, oh, I'm gonna get it, I want to do it, and, and even on the same concept, like getting it, like it's just gonna happen fast without realizing, like there's all these other things that you should think about before you just jump in because that's like the worst thing is like I feel like there's probably if you want to do roids, just look at the history of every YouTuber who did roids, they're all dead. There's so many like kids it's in gyms and their bros are like, bro, oh, take this shit, and they're like taking probably and in, in, for them copious amounts of shit that is just not even necessary to get what they want. That's not even true. 99% of influencers, TikTok, fitness guys are all living great lives on roids with big followers. <laughs> but they have problems later down the road. So there's just, there's just something to be said about it. Just Explain Michael Hearn. Michael Hearn is natural. <laughs> he, does he still claim natty? Yeesh. Anytime I talk about it, I always try to preface it a little bit. That's why I believe in legalizing anabolic steroids, legalized steroids across the board. I'm not even kidding. I've been saying this for years. Yeah, I think, I think I think it'd be better off if we legalized it and then we had, you know, better, more adequate, transparent medicine surrounding this yeah. process. Because yeah. right now, like, a lot of rich people do it. Most of them, I'd say. Yeah. It, all athletes do it. Yeah. A lot of rich people do so it. So LeBron does it. <coughs> no. no <laughs> I not say that. Yo, that's what you said. All athletes. He's not athlete I mean, most, most athletes do it. Most Actually, athletes. I mean, maybe. He might have he done it too. I think, like, a lot of, I feel like a lot of athletes probably do it when they're younger. I mean, I, don't I know. think older is when you do it more so. No? You, think they, you think they do it Just for longevity. Older. Cause like oh. these things are, it's not even. If you don't understand whether athletes take shit or not, let me tell you something. Amateurs take heaps of shit. <laughs> Amateurs, broke people who live on people's couches take shit. Okay. The poorest athletes in the world take shit. You think that the guys with million dollar contracts are going to risk losing that contract because these guys are juiced up and they're doing it the natty way? Could you imagine when that million dollar contract comes to you? 10 million, 20 million dollar contract. And they say, you got to perform like those guys. And then you look at these juiced up dudes that you compete with and you go, you know, I'm going to risk the whole contract. It's not like I'm not saying LeBron or any athlete would take something because they want to be like a body but like just like tendon strength, ligament strength, like recovery. Yeah, that's, that's part of the uh, that's the aspect that people don't talk about with respect to series, like recovery. Yeah, huge. You know, and also like, mental. Like you'd, you'd you'd actually would be surprised how like actually mentally like focusing it can be. Like it changes your almost like your idea of what's possible because you just you're that much more. Um, I guess you'd say like uh, believing in yourself, just a self belief. Yeah, you, you get more confidence from testosterone course. Remember in all those, was it like Russian Olympic athletes tested natural? They were all tested negative all natural and then they switch the testing to check for some different kind of thing in their system and 380 athletes all <laughs> fucking failed the test and they're like oh wow we should start we should start testing them like this <laughs> you're at zerk i can't believe how many people actually do juice i'd be young and naive here you want something that'll blow your mind the fattest dudes in your gym have run cycles. Like dudes who look like they've never touched a weight in their life have ran steroid cycles. You know, everyone thinks, hey, if I run a cycle, I'm gonna look like Zerka and shit. Dude, it's all genetics. Most people look like fucking obese on roids, dude. Through your veins. Exactly. 
Yeah, I mean, I'd rather marginally move the needle by like making healthier choices, moving around, sleeping more, <clears throat> eating a better diet. Yeah. It's not going to be the same as like steroids, but still. Yeah, of course. I'd rather yeah. keep that going for as long as I can. And then until it get, and when it gets to a manage, unmanageable level, then I'll do then I'll Unmanageable do, like, level. Doctor, is, what? Unmanageable level in the sense of? It, like, I just feel myself slipping to a degree where it's like, I just don't feel happy yeah. and, and depressed and all this shit. You took them, what do you mean? Well, look at everyone who goes natural after taking roids. They look like shit. They look like garbage. Like, <laughs> they have to go on TRT to cope. It's yeah. like, I want to, I still believe that I can uh, do it without the steroids. Yeah, you can, absolutely. At this age, I'm only, you know, I'm only 30. Well, that's, that's something that's important is like, like you said, the sleep, the water, the food, all this stuff is, is if you're, if you're like flopping that already, it just makes no sense. You might as well nail this, see how that treats you. And then, you know, if you want to go further, and by all means. Next... You were in Jack Breeze steroids. I was extremely like athletic looking. Like I was, uh, had a bit of a six bag. I look kind of like a long distance runner. So it wasn't the worst position to start from. The worst position to start from is like obese on roids because then, then you're hormonally fucked. Level, yeah. yeah. So I got to show peak photos. I don't even have them. I don't know where they are. Uh, are they on Google? If I search my name up. Fuck. I think I have one on Google. Hold up. John Circa. Da, 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 da. Natty. Big head Natty. Uh, no, no. Natty. Natty. Natty, Natty, Natty. Nat, look how Natty I am here. Oh, my God. This is like Natty, Natty. Natty. This is the best fighting I've ever done, is in this Natty. Just aggressive. I was just aggressive, Natty. This is post stuff. Um, natty, 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 uh, there's some sauce here. I know there's some sauce here because of the biceps I can see, uh, because biceps are my weak, eh, it's not the best part. Um, that's kind of cute. Who's that guy? Natty, uh, this is sauce, 100% sauce. This is sauce. Yeah. I was literally the perfect body. Oh my god. I look re Ew, look how skinny I am compared to that. That look how much meat there is here. Oh, I wish you could see this in person. On camera it just doesn't capture it. Dude, I'd walk around and every chick in this gym would walk would like just stare. I'd be like, what the fuck? This guy's six five and and I would ignore all of them. I used to be so like you don't deserve any of this. But damn that see not even flexing the delts and they're that big that's way bigger dude i wish i could show you the difference in person this was such a sick look bro yeah i could reach that look in like less than four weeks if i saw stuff and pretty crazy this is my first week on twitch with the christmas tree natty see natty just very small Where's these sauced out pictures, though? I know there's a more sauced out one. Something like this. Mm, I think the beginning of sauce. This is where I thought, like, the Z at first I'm like, I want to look like Z's. And then I'm like, yeah, that's kind of what it, the end game Z's look better. So I was like, yeah, this is a little skinny. And my buddies are like, dude, are you really on gear? Like, you, 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 you're like, I'm like, now I am, bitch. <laughs> uh, that's beautiful. I love this tan. That's nice. Because I'm very fucking built for um, basketball, so that's that's good meat from for myself. This is like week two of my cycle. Holy fucking tremble! I remember I ate half a banana and the, this shit started bobbing, but so flat, so flat because I didn't understand the game. Then I started getting it. I was like, oh, I flat, I, I deplete very easily, so I would use gummy bears to stay full working out. And I didn't know you're supposed to stay full during workouts. I used to think you're supposed to like be in a fastest state and burn through calories like a fucking retard, which I was wrong about because it's bodybuilding. And then we did our, I uh, did like some fitness modeling here, but this is not it. This is just me getting ready for it. It was like a tan. I remember, um, uh, there's no other photos of this. Hold up. I know I've got some giant sauced out ones. I'm like my biggest form. 
<laughs> Look at this, 19 years old. <laughs> this is the fucking glory days. Um, da, 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 da. This is Natty. Uh, yeah, look at Natty. Look at fucking just like a regular dude. But it's cute. I like this. This is healthy. This is Natty too. What the fuck is his background, bro? Uh, oh, I was watching Michael Tren. <laughs> the fuck? When was that? And oh yeah, this is clear sauce. This is sauce. I mean, this is where my my talent agency was like, dude, you're the most muscular guy we have. Like, they loved me. They're like, we're going to make so much money with this guy. And then I told them, hey, guys, I'm stopping bodybuilding. I'm not going to look like this anymore. This is a lot of meat, bro. That neck was so nice. This is when I was just <laughs> piping and piping and piping. I used to be a gen. Uh... What the fuck is this? <laughs> oh, yeah, we used to rave hard. I used to be a raver, such a fucking degenerate raver. <laughs> Yo, bro, look at my progress pictures. All right, chat. <laughs> uh, you know, it's funny, though, at these raves, people would just be scared. You'd think they come up to you and talk to you, but if your face looks like Muhammad Atta, they're just afraid of you. Right? Like, if I had sunglasses on and stuff, they'd be like, hey, I want a photo and stuff. But most of the time, they would be like, what the fuck? Oh, that's a good way to lose your VIP forever, dude. That is... You can't say that in my chat. <clears throat> uh, you just can't say that, my dude. You are a liability and a half, my dude. Yikes, mods, please. I'm lagging. Do your job. Yeah, so definitely sauced here. Off sauce, kind of cute. This is my walk around weight. This is my this is more, more like my MMA fighter weight. Right? Just tiny, tiny. And people make fun of my legs, but I have this photo showing my legs with my best body part. Long time ago. I'll find that photo for you guys. Oh, that's sick. Oh my god. Oh, I was making 12% look nice, dude. I was making 12% look nice. What? A, look at that clavicle. Look at the broad. I was much more broad. Dude. See, as if if it wasn't for hair, I would just get on juice. And I'd be a fucking influencer, fitness influencer. And I'd have like 1 million followers and be so easy. But it would be kind of cringe to like do fitness content holy shit this is such a sick look bro this is me zizzing hard bro yo this is depleted flat i wish i was carved up for this photo jeez bro that's the sickest look i ever had wow i was i was making 10 percent look like eight bro i was looking sick oh my god god dude this photo i remember taking this and i would always hide in the gym like i'd wear hoodies i wouldn't let people watch be like i'm cooking still fuck is there to cook bro i'm done and i would get i would just work out to go to raves right and every time i was at a rave i would think of god and how my life's degenerating like i still had the self-loathing mindset yeah this is dunkel mode right now Oh, dude, this look is so fucking violent, man. That's such a sick look. It just suits me to fucking walk around like that, dude. Should I just get on a cycle? and? Do I could look like this if I ran DECA only and keep my hair. It's just I really hate being on hormones, bro. I don't like that feeling, that godlike feeling. It just comes with sleeping and always I want to take a nap and weird, weird different mindset i like my fast form this is my fast I, I, you don't want to fight my natural form trust me now that my bones have calcified but that form looks so violent dude just walk around the gym like that dude it suited me to be fucking geared up man 
I look so good on gear. Uh, a little small here, though, but he's one of my best friends. Well, he was just my dealer. <laughs> All right, hold on. Yo, dude, my arms were looking retarded, geared up. Oh, this is when I had the Dwayne Johnson body double for the movie Skyscraper that I always talk about. Dude, to have a skinny basketball player frame that full, and I know exactly which alchemy I used to get like this. And because I used to think it's about a lot of roids and the diet and stuff. No, it's about synergy between a couple of roids. I know exactly which ones I was on here. As soon as I figured out the alchemy to get this look, I had to get off everything. Because I was like, oh, I'm losing hair. I'm losing hair and I'm unhealthy and aggressive. It just made me so fucking violent. But geez, look at that meat. If you could see how long this arm is, you'd be impressed. You'd be like, oh, because on a short arm, this is not impressive. But if you're a very long, long arm guy... I like that tan too, right? And I got, I gained all this in less than like 14 weeks. So my friends were like, what the fuck are you on, bro? I was like, because I spent a year reading about chem chemicals and my buddies are like, are you ever going to go to the gym? All you do is talk. And I'm like, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I promise you guys I'm going to go. I'm just going to figure this out. And they're like, you just talk. All you do is talk. And then I started doing and then they're like, oh, shit. What is the most OP game breaking cycle if you care about hair? Um, there's a lot of reports saying if you do DECA only without testosterone base, uh, you can keep all your hair. A lot of, there's been like hundreds of reports of that being effective. And DECA used to be no, known as a testosterone a hormone replacement therapy without test, which without test base is retarded, right? But that's what they say. And uh, this is my natty form, still some muscle. Natty form is attractive. Just looks younger. Looks healthier. Looks cute. But uh, there's something about me when I'm so... Oh, this is pre-sauce. Look at my face pre-sauce. Look at my face. And I hated it. I was like, man, I feel like I'm Justin Bieber. I wanted the nice roided jawline. And oh, I got that. Right? And look at, look, look at this. After the devil's work. Look at the face, just violent. Look how different the face looks. Way deeper jawline. In my opinion, way more attractive. But some people like the youthful look. Way more square of a face. But a lot of people's faces don't change. I just got lucky, right, that my face got very, uh, very square. I like the square look. This is a nice square look. Yeah, beard came out of nowhere and... This jawline is sick. This post-gear jawline is so worth it. And then it faded. You know, this is natty, so the jawline fades and it becomes a little sharper instead. Uh, but yeah, I never had a facial structure until I took shit. And then some people take shit and their face doesn't change much, but mine masculinized like a thousandfold. And chicks love this, bro. That's I never got D mad. I, this guy never got mad DMs. And he's cutie pie. I was a cutie pie. I never got DMs. And then after 14 weeks on cycle, I turned into this dude. And then everyone wanted like, and back then I used to actually care about like performing and stuff. So I'd be like, mm, 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 going B deep. And, but my natty form is the cutest. Look at this, bro. That's just, when I go back to natty is just <laughs> chef's kiss. You know what I mean? And look at look at Knut's fucking jawline. That guy's never off gear. Natty is just small, athletic looking. Which is weird. There's more chicks in my life as a natty post gear than on gear. So chicks do like this look. Whatever the fuck this is. Uh this look at this look slays the most bitches, right? Just the fighter look. Uh this is like fighter. No, this is a computer gamer look, bro. Fuck that. Natty. See, Natty is just skinny. This guy keeps saying he's a shill. Who's a shill, motherfucker? Who?
Du, 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 du. Ja, oh, what the fuck? Du, 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 du. Yeah, jawline stays somewhat. Well, definitely, definitely stayed forever. What am I saying? And this is natty, but going to the gym looks so sick. When I used to go to the gym, it was just like a little more extra delt. Uh, it's weird though. The best as a fighter I've ever been is as a natty. I just move better now. On gear, I was moving kind of like hectic. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I like this new face a lot. This new masculinized face. This is all I've ever wanted. Look at this, bro. This is me sinking deep into a cut. Mm. I'm going to get cut, but it's not going to be as like, like before. I'm going to get stupid cut, but what the hell, Mitch Jones? <laughs> Don't save this photo. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna turn into this guy for Austin content. You never look happy. Well, most of my life, I've never, I've never been happy. Most of my life, that's why I laugh so hard. The people who are the Joker and laugh hard have never been happy in life. I worked in sales here. See, if I go, went and did some hair graphing in Turkey, I would have a lot more density like this hair. I like this hair. Stop shaving fully, man. It makes you look so young. I want to look young. I don't want to always look old. Uh, this is good hair, though, right? This is before I started getting destroyed. <laughs> and then this is after my hair got more destroyed. See, look. Just trashed my hair. Yeah, my hair used to be sick. What the fuck is this banana emoji? Yeah, this is pre-gear. Remember when Destiny said you can look like this guy naturally? <laughs> yeah. Oh, how did you save that photo? I forgot about that debate where they all told me I'm an idiot. This is Cancun. I love that trip. Yeah. It's my natty form, right? When I fuck your bitch, I walk around like this in front of her. And she goes, what happened to you? You used to be Captain America. And now you're like, now I'm the Flash, bitch. Look at my perfect nipples, dude. This is nice. What, what was I even doing back in these streams? <laughs> This wedding was sick. This is the first wedding I've ever been at where I was sauced up. And everyone's like, dude, Zerka's teched out. He's on cell tech, bro. That's not what Zerka looks like. And I was like, straight up just, bro. Like, I wasn't like, hey, guys. I was like this. This is what my voice used to sound like on gear. <clears throat> Pass the ketchup. Right? I used to be like up in girls' ears, like, yeah, you're going to come? And he would say, yeah, I am. Just talk, like, talk my shit in their ear. Yeah, my older brother is a thousand times better looking than me. Look how good looking my older brother is. This is cracked aesthetics. This guy, he was just sitting, I forgot where he was, in public, and um, some random modeling agent hire, like scouts him on the spot. And men never get scouted. It's just women. And they're like, you got a model for us. And he's like, no, I actually do. He's military. He's so fucking, wow. This is the only pick. This is my favorite pick of him because it's, uh, his first uh, professional pick. 
I don't have any other picks, but uh, my older brother has green eyes. <laughs> they're yellow when he's uh, tired. It's crazy. CJ, I appreciate that. What the fuck is this? Look, it's my old teeth. Dude, my old teeth look nice. Kind of looks like I never changed my... No, no, these look longer. Uh, yeah, this is my favorite look I had. Oh my god. I would give half I would give 80% of all the wealth I have to walk around like that with with good blood pressure and shit. Like with perfect liver and perfect everything and perfect hair. Jeez, this look is so retardedly beautiful. You know what's crazy is if I went for this look right now, it would look even better now because now I can get way leaner than I used to be able to get. Like now, now it's very easy for me. Like now I mastered the game. This is when I was learning. Yeah, this fullness, bro. This top with the traps going up on the sides. Traps were weak from the back, but from the front, I had nice traps. And then this upper chest fullness. Oh, that, I miss that. Uh, how can a natty balance MMA training and bodybuilding? Uh, that's too complicated of a question, my dude. We're talking about gay bodybuilding, bro. Talking about Canute. Canute has such good thickness, dude. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Okay, these are the real genetics. These are the big boys. He's 6'1", bro. He's tall for his sport. Oof. Yeah, this is the real shit. This is the guys who I was going to compete against. I love this picture. This one's great. I got a question for you. What what is like what do you enjoy the most out of all this stuff now? Cuz obviously like you do this every day. How long have you been doing this every day? Um so I started full-time in 2020 and uh and then COVID happened. I uh I left the Young Turks and decided you know I'm going to do this on my own. And um I started doing it full-time in 2020 and I was like streaming, you know, 8 hours, 10 hours every day. And then uh I was supposed to follow Bernie Sanders' campaign around the country. And then COVID happened. So that destroyed that plan. And then my dog died at the beginning of uh, COVID too. So I'm like sitting in a fucking one bedroom by myself in the middle of West Hollywood, depressed as fuck, can't see anybody. You know what I mean? Yeah. Freaking the fuck out. So I was like, well, I guess I'll just wake up and do this. Should have came to Zoo Culture to work yeah. out. <laughs> I didn't know the Zoo Culture was open, but I probably wouldn't have done it regardless. Cause I, I was very, like I, I followed the protocols pretty to a T. Damn, I didn't at yeah. all. I, I know, I'm, yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Many people did not. Um, many people did not and then complained about it. They were like, oh man, these fucking lockdowns are crazy. It's like, bro, you live in Alabama, like nothing locked down. <laughs> Chill, okay? Definitely not like LA. Like our shit locked down, but for, for sure. Real, for real. When, I, when I went outside, like when I went outside the first time to get groceries, it was crazy. There was like no one out. The best part was driving on the freeways. That was pretty I was chill. like, yo, this is insane. That was pretty good. Yeah. yeah, you can get anywhere. Should I just do another cycle, man? Because back then it would take me 10 weeks to have full six pack, but now I can do it in four weeks, man. I'm so much better at fitness now. I'm talking about the diet aspect is so easy for me to just drop down. Like, I can literally get the fucking look I want and then beef up and get the muscular top half I need. Should I just run a fucking cycle, man? Should I just fucking... You know how good it would look now? Right? Because I hold it... I've never in my life held this much muscle not working out. Just from high protein. I have steak almost every day. Right? I spend a lot of money on food. If I just ran one, because before I used to go from no muscle into that form. Now I'm going from this form into that form. So I'd have to surpass it. I mean, now I wasn't failing organ shit. It was just complicated. No, I wouldn't do it if I was going to die off a cycle. It's just the worst problem I'll have is hair and aging. You know, cycles age you. Thank you, ugly.
Man, if I ran a cycle, dude, I would be zizzed out in four weeks, dude. My fucking TikTok would blow up. Right? I'd just be on TikTok like, you know, you guys got to eat half a carrot every day to look like me. And I'd just fucking lie like everyone else. And they'd be like, dude, this guy's so base, he eats half a carrot. <laughs> I'm so tempted, you know, but the only problem is imagine having to stop cycle halfway because you lose hair and then, you know, you have to do that part where you're healing and then you have a completely fucked endocrine system for like almost two years because of that botched cycle. Is that worth it? If I shave my head bald, I can be the most shredded dude on the internet within 10 weeks. Not the most shredded, the best physique. Like, I will literally have the broadest physique. I won't be Bradley Martin huge, but I will look perfect. Like, I, will, I know exactly how I'll look. No, or why don't I just train Natty? I've got a nice bod. Why don't I just train Natty? Like, who gives a fuck? Natty, I can get, what, 20% better, look nice. Why don't I just do that and focus on content? Why, do, why does there always have to be extremes with this channel? But, dude, I, when I look at old photos of myself, it's like the perfect body, dude. And I was, like, running McDonald's on those bodies. Like, I was just fucking... I was had so many cheat days. I was just hacking, dude. I would eat McDonald's and get more shredded. It was some weird cycle, man. And I know... I know exactly... Like, I, I hate leaking this. But look at this shit. Here's the trinity of drugs, okay? If you want a black hole as a metabolism, <laughs> trin, <clears throat> this is by far the most fucking shredded any human can be, this. Nobody in the bodybuilding, I know it's very unhealthy and this cycle doesn't make sense, but I'm saying just for the metabolism, this is the most cracked cycle you could run. Oh my God. You, you could run this cycle at low doses and gain more than a dude cranking just trend or just draw or whatever. Like, dude, this trinity of drugs is so fucking powerful and i figured this out so late you eat more yeah you're sp if you don't eat more on cycle you're wasting the drug you have to eat more uh yeah this is a horse drug this is for cattle <laughs> this is the most toxic fucking oral you could take <laughs> this, is, this is the trinity of the metabolism that nobody understands like a lot of people think Oh, to spike metabolism, I'll use Clen and no, no, it's these three. Okay. The stimulants, you don't need them. Okay. Matter of fact, they just make you fucked up. This is literally the McDonald's cycle. If you're, if you're just an average guy, you can eat McDonald's and get fucking, well, you still have to do protein shakes and to look like that, but you can get away with a lot of cheats, right? And what's funny is the best look you'll ever have for your face and everything is Mastron. Like, it makes your skin, it made my skin glow. It made me look so good looking and shit. Uh, the tightest look. No, I never tried Super Draw, but I've tried every all of them, and this was definitely the hack, right? So I think I ran trend, the highest I ran it was almost like three grams. No, 2.5. You're supposed to take, what is it, 200 migs a week? That's milligrams. I would take grams of <laughs> this shit because I was in a rush, which is stupid. I don't know why I did that. I would take um, 1.2 grams of EQ and draw was just Tic Tacs <laughs> for the gym. This is not a healthy cycle, bro. This is how you kill yourself. Don't do this. But it's these are the most aggressive. Like This eats the most food. Trent obviously eats the most food. And this trend has the best nutrient partitioning, but I'm so ectomorph that I just look flat on it. 
So I always need a D ball or something. D ball, you need that fucking estrogenic effect with Tren. It's proven to be super effective with horses and cattle and shit, but then you get a lot of side effects. So I would use EQ, which is not that estrogenic. It's actually the opposite. It makes your nips tight and nice. But and this one rapes your hair, by the way. This is these two, these three rape your hair. This is hair rape cycle. Hair rape cycle is the best metabolism you can have. And if you're like me and you already have some muscle, then you're really just looking to, you know. The most interesting thing about trend that nobody knows is it actually separates your muscles without dropping your body fat because of some nitric thing it does. I forgot. I used to know all this shit. But it, it's the only steroid that does that. It has like it's... Like, all roids have this look. Let's say all ro roids give you a 5. Trent has this 10 look that is just... cannot Nothing compares to this. Although, if you're skinny, you'll look better on EQ than Trent for some reason. Like, me, I would flatten out on Trent. But on EQ, D-ball, and the fillers, drawl, I would look like a real bodybuilder. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, your nuts become like this. And your penis is like that. But your nuts are usually like this. <laughs> or in like actual time you should like 20 something minutes yeah were you on maintenance dose of trt or full cycle believe it or not i never took testosterone that's why i had so much uh so many i didn't have physical side effects i had psychological side effects extreme aggression very violent person uh the street fights i was in were like blood baths i was punching so hard like not even holding back even if they were weaker than me i wasn't holding back it was nuts and it was all because i was hormonally imbalanced and it changed my brain forever like as a natty now i just really aggressive person it's very fucked up it was that was the only time it's just like you and uber drivers you know fucking uber drivers but um but now i understand now that i read about kundalini and chakras those chakras talk about your endocrine system and your hormones now i get what the fuck was happening that's that's when i like really just i streamed 42 percent of the year in 2020 fuck. so that's Holy like literally 42 percent of the entire year i was live in front of a camera that's insane so i was just sleeping and streaming that's it i already found one of the videos the bloody video fight videos on the internet the dude outside of ramada nightclub holding his head like this cops all around us with me and i i have another i if i post it i'm gonna post it through like uh someone else if i post it myself i'll get in trouble i'll post it through a well i'm not gonna say an alt i don't have an alt i'll just give it to a friend was it worth it yeah in all sure. aspects of your life yeah no for sure because i had nothing else going on the only yeah. thing i am fuck it i'm getting on cycle guys i gotta go all right, it's been four hours. I'm getting on a cycle. What cycle should I run, bro? Eight-hour arm workouts. Said about is that like I, you know, dropped the ball on weightlifting and working out. That was the only that was the only part. And 2021, that's when I really started getting weight. Yeah. Um, and that's that's I would say that was the bad part. And yeah. then the second half of 2021, I started working out again. So. Uh. I'm getting on a cycle, bro. Fuck my hair. Fuck this. It's time to Andrew Tate it. Flat Earth cycle begins now. Also, I'm Jewish. 